hi, how are you? Welcome to my neck of the woods. My name is Roxana. Now I am Roxy's reruns here on this channel. It used to be called Foxy Roxy. If you're new here, I do reseller videos and maybe it, by watching it, you'll learn something. I don't know. I don't know where you are in your journey. I'm kind of at the beginning, well, I've been doing it for three years, but I feel like there's so much for me to learn. I feel like I'm at the beginning. Anyway, thread up box. If you watch me on Instagram, you know about two, three weeks ago, I did a first impression of the thread up box. It was a shoe box and it was a box that it's a hundred dollars per 15 pairs of shoes used shoes set up just really quick review the way it works it's a consignment shop people send in their clothes a lot of resellers send in their stuff and thread up keeps it on their side for about three months if it doesn't sell and the reseller or whoever sent the item and doesn't want it they end up putting these items in the boxes and sell them to resellers so that's why it's called a rescue box it's because the items are being rescued from the landfill. Now, I had $50 credit, so I paid $50 for this box, which that would translate to $3.33 per each pair of shoe. However, three pairs of shoes I'm not listing, and I'm not listing because they don't have sizes, and I just don't think they're worth me measuring it. Like, this is a Tommy Hilfiger flip-flops, I mean, really, am I gonna waste the time of photographing it and maybe get 10 bucks for them and measuring them and answering a bunch of questions because they don't have a size? I just don't feel like they're worth it. Now, this is again, no size, flip-flops. They're Michael Kors and they, um, they're cool. And maybe I will do something with this someday in the future. But right now, yeah not listing these and these are unbranded yeah they're nice but definitely not gonna bother measuring them or listing them so minus those three pairs that puts it to twelve dollars or uh, twelve pairs for fifty dollars and that translates to four dollars and seventeen cents that's how much i paid for these pairs now i've already sold two out of the twelve uh, dollars or <laughs> I already sold two out of the 12 pairs and the first ones that I sold are these Albright's Albright Albert's I'm not sure I'm saying it right they're very lightweight um tennis shoes they're nice color nice for spring I've never seen these I knew they were kind of a bit of a, a good reseller item from watching videos but um I, I think I'm going to look for some my size because I really like how light they are and I think they're going to be easy on and off. Anyway, I had them for sale for $39. Somebody said, hey, how about $27? And I got a lot of likes. So I'm like, well, let me see if the other likers, you know, um, would take my offer. This was on Poshmark and Macari. Now, the person who offered me $27, she's like, hey, why is it so expensive for shipping? This was on Macari because I had the shipping listed for 12 bucks. What happens with Macari is you, you have to know how much the item weighed. So when I made the listing, I wasn't sure if this was over a pound. So anyway, I fixed the shipping. The shipping is five something. And I thanked her for helping me list the shipping but then on Macari like two three hours later somebody offered me $32 so of course I took it when it all comes down to profit I made like um like 20 some dollars profit after I subtracted the, the 417 so I need to ship these out I'm very happy about it I'm sorry that the lady who pointed it out that I had the shipping wrong didn't get it, but hey, I got $5 more. Now, this is a new to me brand too. I knew, I know from Kelly, she's the one who first clued me that this brand, it's called Sperry, that it sells pretty well. So I was excited when I got these, but 
I cleaned them the best I could, but I still felt like they were in fair shape because there's still dings that I couldn't get them out. I listed them in fair shape and I listed them for $25. And within a few hours, somebody offered me $20, so I took it. That means I made $16 minus the $417. When it comes down to these two pairs, I've already made $35 profit minus $50. So now I just need to make 15 more dollars to break even. So let's show you what else I got. I got these Ugg boots. Now, if you ever get a thread up box, usually the way they work, they always put like a big price item. That's what I noticed. And I think this was my big price item at least one and these are these ugg rain boots now ugg boots i've sold uggs in like horrible shape i actually even have a video on uggs that i got from um goodwill shopgoodwill.com but these ones i have had no interest i might have priced them for 70 bucks i might have priced them a, a little bit too high they look like they never been used and new ones from what i could tell they're like about $170. Yeah, I don't think they've ever been used. So that's why I priced them a little bit higher, but I might have to go down on the price. We'll see. Now I got these Madewell shoes and I thought for sure I would get some interest in these because Madewell tends to sell well. But you know what? I haven't really gotten that much interest. I really like the heel. And so I, I might have priced them too high. I put them for $68. I think they sell about $168. So what I did this morning, I relisted them for $58. So we'll see what happens there. Then I got neutralizers. These are, I guess I should have said the sizes. I'm sorry, the Uggs are size nine. These are size nine. No, the Uggs are size 10. These are size nine. And these ones are eight and a half if I'm, not mistaken yeah it was really hard to tell but these are just basic shoes i've never picked them up um in the stores out in the wild so we'll see if they sell neutralizers i'm glad i got them in the box because i'm curious to see if they sell now with shoes hardly ever do i find them on sale usually i pay full price at, at the thrift store which translates to seven dollars or six dollars these ones are Donald J. Plinner. I am not sure if I'm saying it correctly. And I've gotten these in a Threda box before and they sold pretty fat or they sold um, well enough. And they're animal print ballet flats or just flats with the knot detail. However, um, I haven't gotten much interest in them. I listed them in fair to good condition because the hair, if you look closely, it's it's got like a little bit of bald spots or it's it's thinning out a little bit. So they've they've been well loved. But yeah, they're they're pretty cool. These ones are the ultimate or the original driving shoes made in Italy. So initially when I did my video on Instagram, I couldn't find the size, but finally I found the size. It's like really faint over here and it's hard to see the size, especially when I don't have my glasses on. Oh, these were 36. If you're interested, like I said, I'm gonna link down my posh closet and they will be in there if they haven't sold by the time you watch the video. So these, I thought they would be something. Um, I think I listed them, uh, I'll I'll put a picture. I think I listed them for $25 or something like that, maybe $30. I'm not sure, I don't even remember how much I listed them. So we'll see if they sell. These driving shoes, I hear they're like something, but there haven't been something for my resale game. So we'll see how that goes, excuse me. Well, I awkwardly, whoo! reach for these ones okay these are bandolino and i would have never picked these up i'm curious to see how these loafer style brown classic shoes sell these are a size seven so if these don't sell i think i could wear them 
Sometimes I wear six and a half, sometimes I wear seven, so we shall see. Then I also have these Under Armour tennis shoes, and I don't remember how much I have these uh, for sale, um, 30 some dollars or something. And these are a size 10, US size 10. I wonder if these can be men or women's. I'm not sure, probably, I don't see why not. And what else do I have? These ones are Aldo and they're high heels. Very rarely do I buy high heels. Uh, high heels move very slowly for me, uh, especially kind of like outdated ones, but I think they're cool. I think they're cute. If I could walk in them and if they were my size, they are my size, hmm, maybe I could walk in these. I think they're so classic. This is something that if in doubt, they're neutral enough that you could wear with just about anything and everything. If I can walk in them and if these don't sell, then I am gonna keep them. I, I would have to try them out. These I was really excited about. I thought they were like really cool. They're called New York Transit. I, they got like a 50s, 60s, definitely a vintage vibe to, uh, to them, but they're nothing. They're like sell for 10, $15 online and they are size 10 medium, but I'm glad to have bigger sizes, you know, so maybe somebody will uh, bundle them. That's what I'm hoping this will happen, but I like the gold shoe to them. And these are my last pair, you guys. These are Zara's and they're gold sandals and they're, they do pretty good online. Again, I don't remember how much I, listed them for but will i make my money back money back on the box yeah if you watch the beginning of the video you know i'm pretty much there i'm almost there i ordered these boxes just for fun i think if i i don't know if i would order them to really up my reseller game um, it's just, it's a crapshoot. You can get some really good stuff like the Ugg boots. You know, I would never see them for $6 at my thrift store unless they just put them out because those kind of cool brands like the Ugg, the Alberts, I've never seen them and they sold really quick for me. Sperry, I've never seen these either, not even in bad shape in my thrift stores. So these kind of good name brands they tend to sell pretty fast at my thrift store so getting a box i get a chance to to get some of these brands that i hear about it in other youtube videos however i you know you do end up making a profit but it's you could end up spending a whole bunch of money and and just breaking even and that's a whole lot of work to clean up these shoes just to break even however because this is more of a hobby for me than a side hustle then it is really worth it but thank you so much you guys for watching i have no idea when i do my next video i'm i'm consistently inconsistent on this channel by all means, if you want to subscribe, just hit that subscribe button and then ring the bell because that will let you know when I do a next video. Thank you again so much for watching and I will see you next time. Actually, you'll see me. I won't see you. Thanks. Bye-bye.